Well, I thought they did a good job of uh, making things tough on us, forcing us into some, uh, you know, some tough shots. And I thought we missed some easy, some easy shots, quite frankly. But um, once we got stops, we rebounded the ball and we started to play downhill with force. The game changed for us. And um, we have to play like that, not just the last couple quarters, but try to put that together for 48 minutes. And, and tonight, um, we didn't do that. Was that a product of something they were doing to you? The break, the, the time off, a combination? Uh, I think it's a little rust coming out of the break, which is to be expected. But, you know, you're playing against a good team on their home floor. You, you, we have to know that they're going to come out and, and do a good job of protecting home court, which they did. We got to rebound the ball better. Um, in the game, Porto had, you know, three, four offensive rebounds that, that really changed it for us. Did, do you think you find anything? Do you think you found anything with Josh Richardson and that starting lineup, your evaluation of that? We're hopeful. Uh, we, we're going to continue to look at it and see where we are, but I like what he brought to the table. He only turned it over 12 times. It just seemed that they were the ill-timed turnovers where there were empty possessions they were able to run out, but did you think that you were handling the ball a little bit better than you expected? Yeah, we did. Uh, I don't, the turnovers is not what killed us. You look at the stats, we both had 21 points off each other's turnovers, so we kind of, that was a wash. It was really um, the 22 second chance points. That's the difference in the game, and they had 62 points in the paint. It's just too much uh, to overcome, we have to be better in those areas, and we will. You talked about you know, getting more three-point shots up. You were pretty efficient tonight. Is that kind of where you want it to be, or could you even see more three? And Brandon took seven himself. Uh, you know, 30 is okay. We need to be a, a higher than that. We need to give ourselves a chance to make a few more threes. I thought the guys did a great job of looking for each other, getting in the paint and kicking out, and we made open shots but more so in the second half. We got to start games with that same type of force. You mentioned the, the easy shots in the, in the first part of the ball game. Did your team come out with the energy and, and the hustle that you thought that they would coming out of the break? Because it, it looked like that was there tonight. Yeah, we competed. Uh, no doubt about it. We competed. Um, guys played hard. They played together. So that's there. Uh, there are some things that we got to go back, look at the film and clean up, especially with the rebounding. It's been an issue for us. Coach, to your point about the rebounding, how much of a difference maker was Pirtle on the other side in getting those the offensive rebounds for Toronto? He was huge. Um, down the stretch of the game, when we went and helped and contested shots, he was right there under the basket, and he, he kind of cleaned up everything as far as offensive rebounds for those guys, got put backs, got to the foul line, and now we're playing against a set defense. So, you know, to me, that's, that's the difference in the, in, in the last stretch of the game. Coach, um, yeah, the, the couple uh, Siakam, Jacob Polteris is very hard to defend. How, how have you tried to, to defend uh, Siakam and Poltel along the, along the game? Well, we, we're throwing different looks at him, especially in the post. Uh, but it, he does a great job of getting the ball in the middle of the floor. And, um, you know, he just uses his force and his strength to create shots for himself or his teammates. Right, thanks, Coach. Okay.